Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own YouTube banner without Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and begin with the video. So I'm going to go over to Google Chrome and go to this website. Now, by the way, I'm not sponsored in any way, uh, but I'm going to be showing you guys this just because I found this really interesting and I know a lot of people don't have Photoshop. And so I want to teach them how to make their own YouTube banner. Now, this is what I created here. Uh, it's more, it's kind of leaning more towards uh, beauty channels uh, girl channels and stuff like that so I want to help them out too uh, of course if you don't have you know a, a, a girl channel or whatever this tutorial will be very helpful for you so it says beauty the change of your lifetime I just made something completely up I just clicked on this one here and I'll show you guys how to do that right now so before we begin I want you guys to download this little picture here and what that will do is it will give you the dimensions and everything so you know you're inside of the boundaries and everything so to do that it's very simple well first I'm gonna go and show you guys go to for Fodor or Fotor or photo I don't know how, how you say that but just go to that website and then click on design from there you're gonna have on the top it says most popular go ahead and click on YouTube channel art and the dimensions are 2560 by 1440 so click on that and then it will take you to this right here where you can select different types of templates now the ones with the diamond means you have to have a subscription with that in order for for you to use that template but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going down and selecting one that doesn't have that just because it's completely free and honestly they give you a lot of options to choose from which is really cool you have this one here and this says fashion channel which is I mean it's a nice and it's a nice uh, little template that they have but it's uh, it could be a little better they have this one here which is really cool so I'm gonna go down all the way down and select wander on and just because I like the way this looks we're gonna be turning it into this so in order to do that it's very simple let me go ahead and click on leave what you want to go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this picture because I don't need it go to import photos and I'm gonna leave again a link in the description of this video so you guys can download this template it is provided from YouTube so click open and the reason that they don't have this is because you might be a little bit confused with everything. They try to keep everything very simple, and that is what they're really aiming for, which is really cool. But once you have imported your photo, just click on it, just like that, and then drag it to the corner, and you will see that it will kind of snap. And then drag on the outside. You don't have to hold shift like in Photoshop uh, to keep the, the picture proportional. So just drag that out to the other corner, and it should match up because it is, again, 2560 by 1440 just like here which should be able to fit everything the tools are almost identical to Photoshop you have the image effects uh, you have transparency to change the transparency of the layer you can flip and rotate the actual image or the picture you can change the layers of it you can clone so make a copy of the picture you can also delete it and lock the picture so it, you can't move it and it stays in place which is what we're gonna be doing so go ahead and click on this and then go down to the transparency okay go ahead and lower that so you're gonna be increasing the transparency so it's like a hundred percent transparent which will allow you to see through it so uh, what I like to do is I keep it around 65 percent maybe even 70 percent and then you can change the blending uh, I just keep it normal I don't think you want to blend it just because it'd be kind of hard to see but uh, I'm gonna just keep it on normal and then go down to layer before you lock the actual image you're gonna have these little tools where you can move up or move down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on move down so it moves the layer down so now you can see the text here and you can see wander on and if you go down more you can see the actual wallpaper which is which is good um, of course you can always change that if you want but I'm gonna move it all the way down uh, not all the way down because then you won't be able to see the layer so just move it up so it's about the second to last so maybe you want to change the transparency you can do that as well and they actually did a very good job to keep everything in the desktop minimum so if you keep everything in here this will be able uh, you'll be able to see this on all the devices it says desktop minimum and mobile you have the tablet right here and then I'm gonna finally lock the layer so now you can't move it uh, and the only thing you can move of course is the text and everything so I'm gonna just leave everything how it is except I'm gonna change the wander on I'm gonna just take that off and I'm gonna name this I guess we could do with beauty so I'll just type in beauty and then here you have your little slogan you could always change you could always change this so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the moment you've been waiting for and you could always change the size and everything so to do that select everything by pressing command a or control a if you're on a PC Go over to the font right here you can change the alignment so you can align, align it to the left in the middle or to the right 
You could, of course, underline. You can click on the Nevis, which is, or Nevis, I guess. That's the font that is chosen right now, if you guys were wondering. You could, of course, change the fonts. They provide you with a lot of fonts, which is really cool. The size, you can change the size by moving up or down. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it a little bit like that. And here, you can change the letter spacing, too, if you want, which I find really cool. So I'm going to move it just like six. And then you can do vertical spacing. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to just undo that. Command C. Or you can click this right here to undo. And then you can, of course, change the color by clicking on the color circle here and doing red or blue or whatever here. I'm going to just do white just because it's very simple. If you go to transparency, you can change the transparency. So maybe you want it very dim uh, or 100%. You can do that. You can change the blending option. Just like we did previously, it has the same, the same exact tools. So I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Now the thing that they don't have is the, you know, the drop shadow and everything, but you can of course replicate that. And I'll show you that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it like that. And then I know the background picture does not make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. You can click the little X to delete it and it will give you this and you can go ahead and import your own photos. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to just import this one that I got from unsplash.com and I'm going to drag this here onto the actual image. You can also just click on it and you will now be able to see it. So it says beauty, the moment you've been waiting for. Now, if you want to, you know, get rid of this, just click back on the background and it kind of wiggles. I'll lock it and then go to the transparency. And then you could, of course, uh, take it off to see how it looks. And it looks really, really good. Uh, I'm going to just move it just a little bit so it's not too in the way. And then I'm going to lock it once again so it doesn't move. One way to really replicate this is to make a clone. So click on the actual layer here and it should be selected it shouldn't be like this but the actual layer should be selected and then from here what you want to go ahead and do is click the clone uh, option there and then it will just be like this what you want to do is move it kind of towards the back and then go to color and change this to like a gray i like to kind of move this uh just like so and it kind of it kind of creates a really cool effect now of course it's not going to give you a soft drop shadow, which is kind of disappointing, but you can still create really cool effects with this. And I'm going to I'm going to use the color of your shirt just to make everything work together. And then from here, I just want to move this behind the actual white letter. So I'm going to click the down here just like that. And now you have beauty. So it also makes it kind of look 3D, which is kind of cool in my opinion. But uh, I'm going to move this kind of like uh, I think that looks pretty cool. And if you want, you could also change the transparency of it. Uh, so I'm going to click that and then go to transparency. And then you could just lower this a little bit, kind of like around 70%, uh, maybe even 65 so you can see it. And then you could also, uh, it's kind of weird, but you could use the arrow keys too. So you could reposition it however you'd like. So beauty, just like that. And then cool, now you have a little cool backdrop, I guess, of the text. It's the closest I've ever gotten to this. So... That's pretty cool. So select that and then show you guys what it looks like. So now you have this right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Of course, you guys can go down and do a lot more stuff. You can go over here and do stickers. Now, the ones with the diamond, of course, is not for free. But if you guys go with their service or whatever, you guys can unlock it. But I'm not going to do that because I just want some, you know, very basic stuff. And you could do fingerprints, you could do a lot of stuff, you can do true romance, so you have a lot of stickers that you could do. Maybe you want birdie, so you could add a bird to this. I know I see this a lot, but you could drag this one over here. And I know it's in gray, but you can change the color. And of course you could uh, make it ma uh, match to a color, but I'm going to just do white. And maybe I want to make it small and just kind of go like this. That looks pretty cool. Uh, this one's kind of, I should have locked that one as well. So that one looks pretty cool. And then you have a lot of stuff again. Like I said, you have work, you have activities. So you have a bunch of stuff you can do. I'm not a big fan of these just because, I don't know, it doesn't look good. But uh, yeah, and then you have over here, you have the stickers. Again, these are the templates that you can use for free. Over here on the left, you have the shapes. You could add different kinds of shapes to this if you want. You can change the color. You can do a lot of stuff with this, which is really cool. This is why I like this website, in my opinion. You can do shapes. You could do text to bring in some text there, of course. And then over here, this is to change the background. Same thing applies. The ones with the diamonds you can't really use. But honestly, I feel like if you use your own photos, you could uh, do a lot more stuff, in my opinion. But uh, they have that there, of course. And over here, you can do lighter. So if you click on that, that will just make everything bright, pretty much the background. Kind of with Photoshop, you can make the interface darker or brighter. So now if we get the preview button, 
this will this is how it's gonna look like on the channel so over here beauty it looks kind of up a little bit and over here it looks fine which is kind of weird but you can always fix that and that is awesome you could also save it uh, if you have original this is what it, it uh, looked like before but I'm gonna undo that and then right here is where you actually save the image so click save and then right here you can go ahead and give it a name I'm gonna just name it beauty 2 just because I already have one named as beauty you can change the uh, extension as JPEG or PNG uh, PNG gives you a higher quality you can do high you can change the quality you can do highest which is what I do for the banner I think the max is four megabytes they did increase it by two so you should be fine with highest and you can save it to your Dropbox you can print it and save it to your computer which is what I'm gonna do so that's pretty much how you make your own YouTube banner but that's how you do it with this and you can do a lot more stuff like I said but uh, once again, I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way. Please leave a rating below if you found it helpful. Share this video to people who want to make their own banners without Photoshop. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. So until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.